Well, we've showed you how to create a video using um, Windows Movie Maker and creating a slide show and a, a video. Very simple and it'll only take you a couple of minutes to put something together as you can see. And um, it's just as easy to do that or actually create a real live uh, movie with your uh, webcam if you have one. And here's how you do it. You just capture from a video device and you can go over here as you can see it's um, allowing you can adjust your microphone level it's very important that you don't go into the red up here and, and distort okay like I was doing there you want to make sure that uh, your your audio bounces around up here in the top but doesn't peg the red too much there make sure that your mic's not popping much I always pull my microphone just short uh, just a couple inches below my chin to try to avoid popping sound I know it's sounding bad right now, but that's because I'm demonstrating and moving the microphone um, as I'm talking, which I normally wouldn't do. So that's a good level right there. And um, the next thing we would do is click on Next, and um, I've named it Live, and we're going to place that in our uh, our My Videos. And I'm going to go ahead and click Next. I'm going to click on uh, Best Quality for Playback on My Computer, as recommended right there. Um, I guess you could go into my settings and mess with this. Uh, for the most part, I find it's it's better just to go ahead and leave it set. And click on next. Hey, and there we go. Um, we haven't uh, started to actually do a capture yet. Now, why am I upside down? But you could, uh, I mean, if you don't want to get too technical, you could even, you know, start your your movie off. Uh, by holding up a, a sign or something like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the capture. And we're now doing a video. And um, hey, welcome to my website.com. I'm going to show you some some really some really some really freaky things here huh <laughs> it's a little late as I'm recording this so I apologize for my goofiness boo boy and we're gonna go ahead and click on finish I'll pause this while that uh, is saving the video So we've got, um, for some reason, it uh, chopped these into two files, but that's not a problem. All we have to do is go ahead and select both these and then add to the timeline. And it'll actually put both of the videos uh, together. And then we can go ahead and view this. Okay, I do apologize for the uh, seriously uh, uh, stale humor there <laughs> and the messy office in the background. Anyway, um, what we could do again is we could go ahead and add to this, um, you know, a series of effects and things like that. And um, but what I want to do is just keep it basic. So let's put a uh, title on the beginning of this, and we'll just simply call that. All right, now, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of that so that it'll all fit onto one line. I'm going to make that bold. And then we'll go ahead and click Done, Add Title to Movie. That'll make that uh, title appear just right at the beginning of the movie. And, of course, you can uh, close out your movie with a, uh, you know, you can fade out, uh, do all kinds of stuff. Okay, again, we're just keeping it short and sweet. And what we need to do now is go ahead and make sure we save this this complete uh, file, which we've already done that. And then the next thing to do is save the movie file, just like we did in the first video. We've got to save that movie file. And um, I'm going to move it because it's not in the slideshow category. It's actually in the My Videos category. Call it Live Man. Click on 
next. Keep it at the video for broadband size because that seemed to work out good on the first one. I'll pause this. And the movie's been saved. And we'll click on finish and then that'll open it back up into, uh, into my uh, real player and play on the computer and we can make sure everything shows up. yourwebsite.com